from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. The nation recorded 92 new COVID-19 infections over the holiday weekend, bringing the total number of cases to 9,263. Yesterday, the country's top infectious disease expert said health officials are still very much concerned that the Bahamas could be on the brink of a third COVID-19 wave. Dr. Nikia Forbes, director of the National HIV AIDS and Infectious Disease Program at the Ministry of Health, told the Tribune it would be very concerning if the country continues on this trend as it could lead to the health system being above capacity. Tourism Minister Dionisio Diaguilar said 60,000 non-residents bought travel health visas to visit the country in March, double the number that did so in December 2020. I'm encouraged, he said of the numbers. It is believed that the number of travel visas purchased roughly corresponds to the number of arrivals in the country. The figure for March represents a 92% decline compared to arrivals in March 2019. The minister noted last week there was no plan for the country to move away from its RT-PCR testing requirement for domestic travel and to use rapid antigen testing instead. Progressive Liberal Party leader Philip Brave Davis said he supports changing the boundaries of the Golden Isles and Killarney constituencies to ensure voter parity before the next general election. His comments came after House Speaker Halson Moutry told a local daily last week that the Constituencies Commission is considering recommending as many as five additional constituencies. Asked about this yesterday, Mr. Davis said, quote, the Constitution requires the Commission make recommendations to ensure that there is parity of numbers in each constituency. Looking at the present numbers, there is a necessity to revise those two constituencies in the West, specifically Golden Isles and Killarney, each of which has over 7,000 registrants. Mr. Davis noted that new constituencies are not needed. The Office of the Prime Minister has confirmed that COVID-19 vaccinations will resume tomorrow on New Providence and Grand Bahama. The vaccination sites include Loyola Hall, Gladstone Road, New Providence, Church of God of Prophecy, East Street, New Providence, and the Susan J. Wallace Community Center in Grand Bahama. Vaccinations are currently open to healthcare workers, persons 60 years of age and older, and uniformed branches, including the RBPF, the RBDF, Customs, Immigration, Bahamas Department of Correctional Services, and COVID Ambassador. The OPM advised that persons who do not fall within those categories should not attempt to make appointments. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, President Joe Biden was set to announce today that he is shaving about two weeks off of his May 1st deadline for states to make all adults eligible for coronavirus vaccines, with states gradually expanding eligibility beyond such priority groups as older people and essential frontline workers. The president plans to announce that every adult in the U.S. will be eligible by April 19th to be vaccinated, a White House official has said. Biden was scheduled to visit a COVID-19 vaccine vaccination site today, followed by remarks at the White House updating the nation on the administration's progress against the coronavirus. Rescuers in remote eastern Indonesia dug through the debris of a landslide today in search of as many as 21 people believed to be buried in one of several disasters brought on by severe weather in the Southeast Asian nation and neighboring East Timor. More than a dozen villages were affected by Sunday's landslide on Lambada Island, which was triggered when torrential rains caused by solidified lava from an eruption in November to tumble down. At least 16 people have been confirmed dead. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. High pressure prevails across the area with stable conditions along with gentle to fresh breezes. There's a risk of rip currents, especially along the northern and eastern shorelines in the southeast Bahamas. In the northwest and central Bahamas, it'll be partly sunny and mild this afternoon, turning fair and cool tonight. Winds northeast to east at 10 knots or less in the northwest Bahamas and 10 to 15 knots in the central Bahamas. Seas three feet or less in the northwest Bahamas and two to four feet over the ocean in the central Bahamas. In the southeast Bahamas, it'll be partly cloudy, warm and breezy with a slight chance of a passing shower through tonight. A small craft caution is in effect. Winds northeast to east at 15 to 20 knots over open waters. Seas four to six feet over the ocean. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 79 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 61. The sun will set this afternoon at 727 and will rise tomorrow morning at 655. That's news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.